Hey guys, we got a short video here showing how to adjust camber on the front of a 6th gen Camaro. It's a McPherson strut front suspension, but GM did something really kind of dumb on this car. For all the right they did on the 6th gen, and it is amazing in a lot of ways, they made one crucial mistake. This isn't a 6th gen strut, but it's similar. What you typically see on a McPherson strut car is they'll have the lower spring perches really big, and they almost always get it above the tire. We call that getting the lower perch above the tire. We go to great lengths to do that with coilovers so that we can get the tire really close to the strut and gets the biggest wheel on the car possible. On the 6th gen, in their infinite wisdom, GM put the top of the strut below the top of the tire and it gobbles up inches of inboard wheel room. That's why it has a 245 on the front and that's why it's been challenging to put really big wheels and tires on the front of the 6th gen. You're gonna, to get a big tire on the front of the 6th gen, you're going to have to go to a coilover and then we're going to have to get the lower perch above the top of the tire. Now we, we can do that, and we've done that on countless other cars, but it's very unusual the way they set this up with a really long spring, which you'll see later in the video. And that's the reason why there's a skinny tire on the front of the 6th gen. Yeah, the factory front tire is a little 245, 40, 20, even with the big brakes. And the rear is a 275, 35 20 so we definitely need to get more wheel and tire into this big girl all right we got a six gen camaro and we're looking at the factory strut and spindle and we noticed there's a big slot in the upper hole and it allows you to adjust the camber in and out quite a bit we saw a half a degree change it came in here with 1.4 and we got it down to 2.0 now the bad thing about doing the spindle to strut trick here is that it gobbles up wheel room inboard. Now right now the wheel is close to this uh, lower spring perch because this is a stupid design. On the factory strut they use too long of a spring. But on a coilover you'll, you'll, you won't want to do this uh, because it will definitely eat up inboard wheel room. But for a car with stock wheels and these little baby 245 tires it will get you some camber uh, for some initial track use.